How much sleep a day do we need? Is eight hours of sleep a day the best? Getting the right amount of sleep is important for being alert the next day. Several recent studies have found an association between getting seven hours, not eight, as was long believed, of sleep and optimal cognitive performance. Increasing sleep is not any more beneficial after seven hours," said Morali Dorswami, a professor of psychiatry at Duke University Medical Center. But many doctors question that conclusion. Other recent research has shown that skimping on a full night's sleep, even by twenty minutes, impairs performance and memory the next day, and getting too much sleep or too little sleep is associated. With health problems, including diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular disease, and higher rates of death, the lowest mortality and morbidity is with seven hours. Eight hours or more has shown to be hazardous, commented Sean Youngstead, a professor that researches the effects of oversleeping in Arizona State University, Phoenix. Daniel Kripke. An emeritus professor of psychiatry at the University of California, San Diego, tracked over a six-year period on 1.1 million people who participated in a large cancer study. The data showed that people who slept 6.5 to 7.4 hours had a lower mortality rate than those with shorter or longer sleep. Most research have focused on the effects of getting too little sleep, including cognitive and health declines and weight gain. Study also showed repeatedly that getting just twenty or thirty minutes less than the minimum recommendation of seven hours can slow cognitive speed and increase attention lapses. Other experts caution against studies showing ill effects from too much sleep. Illness may cause someone to sleep or spend more time in bed. Dr. Timothy Morgenthaler, president of the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, said sleep needs also vary between individuals, largely due to cultural and genetic differences. Experts say people should be able to figure out their optimal amount of sleep in a trial of three days to a week, ideally while on vacation. Don't use an alarm clock. Go to sleep when tired. Avoid too much caffeine or alcohol, and stay off electronic devices a couple of hours before going to bed. During the trial, track your sleep with a diary or a device that records your actual sleep time. If you feel refreshed and awake during the day, you have probably discovered your optimal sleep time. Don't be too caught on hours. When we get enough sleep. Our body will wake us up by nature. What do you think?